Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to another Johnny Q video. In today's video, if you haven't already noticed, it is Tactical ASMR. We are going to bring back Tactical ASMR. Now, every single time I post on YouTube, I always get asked, Johnny, bring back the Tactical ASMR. Well, here it is. And so, another comment I get all the time. I always get this comment, okay? That I should be doing more flag tapping. Now, I did flag tapping, like, sometime last... Um, side note, you'll probably hear some noises in the background. The studio is currently getting renovation. And stuff is going on outside. So, let it be part of the the ambiance, the experience of tactical ASMR, what we're talking about, and touching different tactical gear, but also you hear tactical noises. So, just just warning you guys, because it will happen, and you probably will hear things in the background. So, I apologize. But anyway, I'm always getting asked to do, like, flag tapping, because... Apparently people loved it, and <laughs> sometimes I get people asking me if I should, if I could do flag tapping for a whole hour of just this. So, we're going to start out with flag tapping, tactical flag tapping ASMR. <laughs> we continue in the video we do have other types of tactical here uh, tactical gear out here to show you guys think of this kind of like this is the tactical gun store and you are looking for a gun well i have some guns over here i also have magazines if you want to take a look at those but it was just the experience and there's, there's that song. <laughs> this right here is a rubber patch that I use on one of my, well, a lot of my videos, but I put this on my plate carrier. I have is, do you prefer this, the nail tapping on the rubber, or do you prefer this, just the finger tapping? We have the nails, and then the fingers. You tell me which one you like the most. Nail. Or if you're different, if you're just built different, you might like the Velcro. like the scratching of the rubber patch. So which one are you? Are you a nail tapper? Do you like the rubbing on 
on the rubber patch, like this. Comment down below which one is your favorite, and maybe at some point, maybe I will just make an hour long video of, of tapping on different patches, which I think would be what the people want. this right here, this kind of magazine. Now, this magazine is, this is called a P Mag magazine, and it holds 30. It says right here, three, zero, 30 rounds of 5.56 by 45. So, that basically is the count. round here, 5.56 five, round, and you place it right at the top of here, on top of the follower. This right here, you can see this right here, that right there, the top portion, that gray top portion is the follower. That is called the follower. And so, you put the round up here, and you just push it, put another one in, Another one, another one, another one. And so basically you do that 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Gen 2 magazine, M-O-E, and it says E-N is 312-0000, and it's patented. If you want to visit and find more, I believe it's about the patent, you go to ip.magpole.com to find more. And of course, this right here that we see, this cream like beige color on the magazine. It does not come standard like this. This is something that I've placed to get a better grip, a better handle on the magazine. Just like this. So you take your rip it out of the magazine, carrier holder pouch, whatever it might be, rip it out and insert it into your rifle. This right here is what we like to call goon tape. Now there's a lot of tape out there for tactical gear, for your magazines, your rifle, stuff like that. But this is very, very buttery soft and it's, it's called goon tape, something I used all the time when I was in law enforcement and now I still use as I make This right here is a 30 round magazine. Now the thing is, a lot of people subscribe to the idea that you should not fill the entire magazine when you are loading and shooting your rifle. People say you should not load the entire magazine to 30 because when you go to, you know, ride the bolt forward to start, you know, 
shooting your rifle. Um, people say that the the caliber, the the round, the first round, gets stuck or won't cycle properly. And if you do, and if it does fire off perfectly, the second round will not fire properly or will get stuck, will misfeed, malfunction, potentially even double feed. But, you know, in law enforcement, they did train us to load the magazine to 28, 29 if you want. Now, I, I've had some, some times where I do fill the entire magazine to about 30 rounds and I go to put it in my rifle and it does malfunction it does in fact double feed but I I don't know if that was a skill level like a user error or it might have been the magazine or even the type of ammo usually I, I shoot with 55 grain ammo but I have found that even loading it up to 29 rounds still works. Now, some it does not to say that sometimes a 30-round fully loaded magazine will not work. It, it will work sometimes. And so, it kind of just depends on, I think, the magazine type of rifle. If your rifle is lubricated, if the bolt is, you know, pretty pretty hard to ride forward, it could be the, the round, it could, I mean, a lot of things. But for the most part, I've had no issue filling this entire magazine to about 28, 29, sometimes 30 rounds. And let's just, how does this sound to you? Do you like the nails on the buttery soft goon cape? Goon tape? Or do you like the dabbing? Here's the dabbing. push the follower down, you can hear that spring because in here there is a giant metal-like spring. So this follower, when the, met, when the rounds go inside, the spring goes down which creates tension and when the round ejects out, the spring moves up with the rest of the rounds. one more thing that I want to show you and that is called this big boy right here this stop box it's called the stop box pro by stop box and of course it is in it is made in the USA now essentially what this does it's very useful very unique where you place this on your table on your nightstand in your car wherever you want and essentially you can open I'm trying not to make too much noise, hold on. Oh, do we have to close it?
your little buttons, but here we go. So essentially you put this on the ground, right? I just got this out of the box, but you press down what you want to do when it comes out of the box. You can keep, you can keep guns, you can keep knives, you can keep flashlights, whatever you want. And these little buttons right here, that is what makes this top box open and work. You have one button here, second button, third button, fourth button, and the thumb button. top box you get an extra set of baggies or sorry you get a baggie with an extra set of buttons now these buttons are are these right here that go right here and of course you can change your combination says want to change your combination and then it gives you instructions on how to change your combination which is pretty neat so you have step one step two and step three so three steps to change your combination for the stop box pro You, oh, were you interested in a gun? Oh, anything in particular? Oh, sure, sure. You know, might, might I suggest something like a Glock 19? Oh, you want to look at the Glock 19X? Oh, yeah, we, we do have the Glock 19X available. Um... Let me bring that out for you. Now, we currently have this Glock 19X, and it does have the obvious extended magazine that they all come with. We also have a Streamlight TLR1 HL flashlight on here. It also comes with a threaded barrel. 
course, we have the new Infotech Thermal Pistol Optic. From what I hear, it's one of the first in the entire world for a pistol-mounted thermal optic like this, which is, is kind of cool. But now, just so people are aware, uh, this is a Glock 19X, and it is cleared, safe, and empty. So, we are not dealing with any guns that have any ammo. So, we are a safe store here. And what we like to do is make sure that everybody here is safe and sound and practices proper gun safety. Right? So, that's what we're doing here. Of course, always keep your finger off that trigger until you are ready to fire, which is basic firearm safety 101. As you can see, there are no rounds in the magazine, so we are good to go. What I like to do when I go to reload is I like to bring the gun right here, right into my workspace. This is what we like to call the workspace. And a lot of people don't know this, but there is a proper way to hold a magazine, right? So this right here is a magazine. Now, what you don't want to do is what we like to call candy bar the magazine. Now, what does that mean? Good question. That's right here. Holding the magazine like this. Now that's what we call, you're just candy bar it. Candy barring it. Because when you go eat a candy bar, that is how you hold a candy bar. You do not want to hold a magazine like a candy bar. probably asking yourself, Johnny, how does one hold a magazine without candy barring it? And to that I would say, good question. Now, there are a couple of ways to properly hold a magazine. So, for starters, let's say the magazine is in your gun. Okay, so here's how I do it when I go to grab this is what I do right there. You just saw it. It was very quick, but I will slow it down for you. I will press the eject magazine button right here. Bring it into my workspace. And then press the button. As I'm pressing it, I have my, my, what is this? Pointer. My number two finger, or three, with my thumb. I will put the magazine right here. I will make sure that only these three fingers are the ones feeding from and touching that magazine. So here's how I want to hold my magazine like this. And this is what we like to call index. Indexing. Because you're using your index finger. Yeah, that's the index finger, right? I believe, yeah. These three fingers are using all of the grip. They're holding, they're indexing. Every single time I go to reload, a tactical reload, an emergency reload, any kind of reload, I'm here. This is what I'm doing. And we insert the same way. Now, it does take practice and it can take some time. But for the most part, you don't want to do this. You don't want to hold the magazine like that. Because when you go to feed it, into your pistol grip. Where, how are you gonna, you end, you end up here and that just, that, that's not very good. It's not gonna work. So again, doing it like this.
this, you're gonna get stuck, and it's not gonna work. You're gonna get pinched, and you have the you have the uh, what is it called? You have the uh, you you might. I'm, I'm losing my mind right now. You run into the issue of proper not properly seating the magazine, which means if you're here, you're going to load the magazine and you don't properly seat it, and then you go to release the slide forward, you see how the magazine is not properly in, which means no round is inside the chamber, which means you die, you're dead. So once again, you wanna make sure you index the magazine. Index it, index. Every time you take the magazine out, you're using these three Thumb, index, and number three, just like that. Now, when you want to go to do a tactical reload, I was taught this. You hold the magazine like this, right here. You can hold the mag like this. So, for example, if you're taking it out, right? Let's say if you want to do the tactical reload which means you have time and opportunity to do a tactical reload. Put this in your pouch in the furthest, furthest pouch away from you. Then grab your, your closest pouch with the full magazine. Take it out like this. That is how you properly hold it. Again, not candy barring. Holding it like this. And then when you go to properly feed it in, quickly change to this. So you're taking it out like this and putting it in like regular normal indexing and so that's kind of where the practice needs to happen right taking it out and you're in taking it out and you're in now sometimes i do just grab the magazine and automatically i'm here and the indexing just helps me follow the magazine up and see how my palm is hitting it. Like this is what's helping me drive it all the way up. Not my finger, because if I leave my finger here, obviously I'm gonna get stuck with the magwell, and we don't want that. Take it out, all the way in, just like so.